All right, everything should be coming through in just a moment. And I have the captions on in case you need them. Here we are. Look at that. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yep, here we go. Look at that. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to give you all the welcomes that I possibly can because you deserve them. You deserve lots of welcomes. We are in this absolutely wonderful day <laughs> about to enjoy uh, some live stream time. But this is a particular kind of live stream time. This is drawing with your Saturday night. And this is actually only the second time uh, that we've done this type of stream. Um, there has, of course, been art streams, many art streams before, but this is uh, only our second drawing stream. So let me address something. You can see right here, I actually have my drawing from last week up here. But why do I have my drawing from last week up here? Well, it's because I'm still in that kind of state of mind where I'm going to be doing some exploring of the concepts that got me to this piece. So this piece right here, I'm calling this the engineer, and the engineer is a good character, and I kind of want to improve upon this character if possible. So we are here. Now this is not my normal setup, as you'll notice. We're in a slightly different setup, but that's part of the fun. That's part of the fun, different setup. I have my pencils. This big board here is actually something that um, I used to use to uh, paint on, like do do some of that. So there's actually some, some paint on this. But I made this wonderful little wooden board for that, and it's going to be perfect for drawing today. So we're going to be uh, using it for drawing. It's wonderful. I like it, and hopefully you do too. But let me just take a minute to say uh, yeah, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Welcome. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here. So yeah, we're going to be doing some drawing, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this character concept and we're going to make a new version of it, uh, because I like the character and I would like to expand upon the character. <clears throat> this is a character that I'm going to potentially be able to uh, explore and use uh, in more of my creative work. So... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get into that now there's going to be a link either in the description or in the chat depending on where you're joining me uh to my website and i'm gonna share that with you again later but if you'd like to help support these streams you can always hop over there um well let me clarify if you'd like to support all the different things that i do not just the art streams but my workshops um the art itself, and all the time we get to share together, you can always hop over to my website, and you can do things like get fun shirts, sweaters, art bags, a sketchbook, but I also have my original artwork there, art prints, and other fun things that you can check out and you can get, and every time someone gets one of those wonderful things, it helps keep these streams going. So, <clears throat> I have some pencils here. I'm pretty much taking a similar palette as last time, as far as what I'm using. So, I have a few extra pencils here. I have some colored pencils. I have some charcoal. Um, I have a couple of smudgers. Well, I have some. Well, I have a smudger, and I have a few different Q-tips because I like the way they um, blend everything together. So that's all going to be really fun. But let's go ahead. I'm going to get the engineer out of here. So I already started doing up kind of a preliminary sketch concept for the new version. Uh, so I just kind of have some rough ends here. And we are going to get that going. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just so you can see the original character. So I have that right there. So you can actually see like the original character right there in the corner that I'm going to be trying to make into a new, more detailed, better version. And, uh, you know, it goes without saying, happy Saturday. 
hope you're doing great. So we're going to go ahead and um, so yeah, you can see up in the corner here, that is um, the other version of the engineer that I did last week. And this is, this is like my new OC. If you're not familiar with that term, it means original character. I have a lot of original characters because of all the writing I do and all the stories and everything, but <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, advance the concepts of the engineer up in the corner. And uh, yeah, so, oh, and um, I do have captions turned on should you need them. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start getting a little work done here, but you can see the original character up in the corner. That's the engineer with the original uniform that I kind of came up with in the last stream. And we're going to see if we can't make a more interesting version of that character. And, you know, that's just, it's going to be one of those things. We're going to have fun. It's going to be a good time. Feel free to say hi in the chat. We have cats jumping around in the background. You know, and since there's kind of these um, delineations between parts of the uniform, I'm going to try to make those more well plotted to begin with. And I think that's going to really aid in making a nice, cohesive character. So that is just part of the goal for today, is to not just make this character better, but to try to make this character seemingly more polished. And just more interesting in general. And, you know, I'm going to be updating the uniform, this kind of spacesuit uh, that the engineer wears. I'm going to be doing some updates on that. I'm going to be doing some, some attempts at really fleshing out who the engineer is. But we're going to take this one bit. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'm, I'm going to be trying to make more of those prints available as we move forward. Because I have a lot of art, so I want to try to make as many of those prints available as possible. And we're definitely going to get a chance to do more of that but thank you so much you know check out the website if you can or share it with other people I do want to um, <clears throat> I do want to make other things available as well so there's already some merch there uh, the sketchbook is one that I'm pretty proud of just because I like the idea that I can have my own sketchbook Um, but it's not just the sketchbook, it's other fun things that I want to be able to keep building and, and keep adding to what I'm doing. So we're going to see what is possible to be added on. as we move forward. So yes, this is version, I guess, two? Version two of the engineer. And some of what will be kind of 
my goal with this is to further explore, further kind of work out what what kind of character this is. Now I'm, I'm gonna try not to get too far out of view on this, but I also realize um, not all of my paper, you know, is properly visible. So we're just gonna keep moving forward though. Now, in the original picture of the engineer, there was the spacesuit and the helmet. I'm going to make some decisions as I go forward here on what of those aspects are being kept and which, which ones are going to be kind of improved upon. But... I think a lot of the initial basics of the engineer are already well set. So I just kind of have to, um, you know, continue to, to rough it out. And that's really what we're doing here. I have the cats making some mischief, but don't worry. That's just what cats do. Make mischief. It's loud mischief because they found a package from some of the stuff that I was using earlier and now they're now they're just getting into it Oh. So there are going to be some changes between the original um, spacesuit and this. Uh, there's going to be some variances because we are trying to delve deeper into the character. So I have decisions to make as I move forward. You know, what's... what's important, what isn't. Gonna have to do some adjustments as I move forward as well.
Might have to grab the cat in a second because she is being naughty. Get into absolutely everything she should not. Absolutely everything. All right. So already we're getting a more kind of cohesive design. Um, I'm just kind of picking out like what are things I'm keeping, what are things I'm not keeping. And like I kind of like those uh, almost black jointings that are in here. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment here. So you're not going to be able to see it as well on the other side. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to little little scribble there. But yeah. So this is going to be a, a much, much better rendering of the engineer. Much better. There are definitely some aspects that I'm going to keep. And some aspects I'm not going to keep. See, I can already see, like, that's something. I'm going to adjust that because it doesn't look natural. Already, we're getting into a nice territory here. And for this rendering, I'm really going to be trying to figure out, I guess, some of my aesthetic. Uh, what what my aesthetic for the final illustration is going to be, as well as um, <clears throat> trying to pinpoint some of the aspects about the uniform that I think can be much improved. And there's definitely going to be a lot here that needs some significant improvement, but. That's just kind of how art goes, right? Things change. Is everything going to be perfect in this one? Of course not. That would be silly of me to think it would be. Uh, and I, I'm not going to keep the space helmet for this one because I really need to do more. I need to be able to do more with this character, um, display more about them as an individual. Now, there's certain aspects of things like uh, garment folds and stuff like that that I'm going to need to consider. How does that actually move? What 
what should I actually keep and what should I not actually keep. So, that was a, right there, that's a good example of a choice that I had to make at the moment. But I do like some of these kind of uh, angled lines. I think that it adds a lot to the silhouette, the shape, the design of this uniform. There's certain aspects that I really want to keep. Um, there were also a lot of aspects that I felt ended up almost too, um, too overly designed, much too overly designed. There is, of course, a little bit of forced perspective in this as far as angling. Clearly, the position is going to shift the materials. And a lot of these materials are very snug, very snug materials. So there will be <clears throat> aspects of that here where clearly there's portions which are reflective of that. Um, and and there in my mind I see portions of this also being segmented. Um, so you're going to get things like twist and bend and various movements. I think we're starting to see the initial concepts of how that will act, how those things will be. So now that you can, can see in the, so again, in the corner is the original engineer with her space helmet and this really vibrant uh, kind of uniform with these multi-paneled pieces to the garment. Um, and we're leaning into the sci-fi with this. You know, we're definitely going to lean into the sci-fi and we're going to try to get the best combination of these features. So yeah. And right now, it's all a lot of little work, really. It's little work. Things that are going to really influence our final appearance. I'm enjoying this, though. So I hope that you're enjoying it, too. we got a lot to continue to work with here. But <clears throat> I'm going to say this again. The Engineer, this is going to be one of my new um, characters uh, that will probably feature potentially in, in multiple things not just artwork but potentially stories so we're gonna see how that all goes now there's some spots in here where i think i can obviously do a lot better uh at getting like some better um anatomy much better anatomy So I'm going to start working on that a little bit. And <clears throat> I've removed some of 
the more drastic panels and cuts in this. Doing great. How are you doing today? Just doing some art. That is the name of the game. But so glad that you stopped in. Doing a little drawing, a little character drawing. And I will explain more. And if anyone has any questions, feel free at any point in time to put them in the chat. I will do my best to get to every question I can. As we render this interesting, unique new character. Well, not new. So they were conceived of last week. Last week they were conceived of, um, and the initial version is in the corner. But this week, this week, we're really getting into the meat and potatoes. That's the word I'm going to use, the meat and potatoes of it. So there's a couple spots here that I need to just adjust. I'm not going to do that really quick. Sometimes you just have to make little adjustments as you go. Little, little adjustments. And then I'm looking at this, and so this really... Again, we have some kind of force perspective going on. All right, well, I'm glad you're here and get to that when we can. So, yeah. You know, I will answer questions about the art or whatever is going on in the chat. Um, but unfortunately, I won't be able to answer too many questions. But we're still going to do what we can. I have to do a little paper shifting here. I don't like to shift the paper too much, you know, because I don't want to get off uh, center. But yeah. Little shift there. We're going to do some more blending here really quick. Grab my smudge stick. Need to blend in. So these joints clearly are, you know, fabric in between the other panels. Or at least that is my intention. You know, we have this fabric in between the panels of the uniform. I think this is already really... Um, it's, it's an interesting adventure and an interesting creation. And I'm going to enjoy being able to explore the concept of it. But yeah, so this is going to be a little bit of graphite work for a while. We're going to get into some charcoal and some colors as we move further forward. But yeah. Move that up here. And I'll talk about what I'm using as I do it, if I can. Um, you know, obviously right now I'm using a lot of different types of pencils. Uh, like this, this is a B. I have various hardnesses here. So I actually started uh, with a 2H. I moved to a 2B, and now I have a B. Um, if you want to learn more about what each of these hardnesses are, what they mean, 
that's definitely something that I can encourage you to go out and do. I, I'm only going to be able to educate you so much on them, but I'm not necessarily an expert in some of these things. I, I know how to use the tools, uh, but I don't necessarily know how to explain them as well as I should. Or actually, no, I won't even say as I should. Uh, you know, there's far better people to explain the differences between these tools. All right. <clears throat> so our character is actually already starting to take up a bit of kind of form. I'm going to get one of my Q-tips. I like Q-tips as blenders. I think that the way the uh, Q-tip affects uh, things like the graphite and also things like charcoal, I like it. I really enjoy And it gives a certain kind of messy quality, but it also holds on to. So you can see I'm blending stuff that's already put down. Not blending. I'm, I'm kind of putting graphite in places that there wasn't any because the Q-tip, it holds on to some. So I could do something like that. And now that I've done that, I can actually... And you get really good at being able to know how to apply and how to use the graphite or how to use the, the, the tools at your disposal. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at being able to put it just where I want it, even with this, uh, even with something like um, a Q-tip, or you know, not necessarily a smudger, but something a lot, which conceivably should be less precise. But if you know what you're doing, if you really know what you're doing, you can be very precise with just a Q-tip. <clears throat> and that's just, these are just things that you learn uh, as you develop your skills. You can, you can get really creative. Uh, so there was a question I actually had for myself um, previously and that was, are these uh, gloves that the engineer is wearing, or is it bare skin? And I've come to the conclusion these are gloves. You know, it just seemed natural to me. It seemed uh, completely reasonable that the engineer is not just walking around bare hands, especially considering there's this entire uh, spacesuit that you can see in the original piece in the corner. So it's an entire little spacesuit. <clears throat> But um, even though there's that entire original spacesuit, that's not what we're doing today. But still, I, I think it's just, it makes sense that those are gloves. Those are gloves. That's the way it is. Hey, Silver Fox, welcome. Completely understandable. You know, it's the weekend. We're all having fun, right? So since you just got here, let me, because, you know, I see there's new people, so why not? Oh, that's, that's a very important run to make. You cannot let the doggies wait. So <clears throat> what we're doing today, and I'll just explain. So up in the corner, you're actually going to see a... Uh, you're going to see where I put the image from the original artwork I did last week for drawing. Now, I liked the character so much, I have actually decided 
I'm going to do a better render of that character. Uh, that character's name is uh, now the engineer. Um, I've removed the space helmet for this new render, but we are we are going to draw the engineer. The engineer is um, our new character here. I'm making some changes to the spacesuit that I designed last time, and those changes are being reflected here. I've taken the engineer's helmet off, but I really like this original character. And I like their aesthetic, and I kind of, I mean, just, I'm enjoying the, the flow of it. So we're going to have some fun. And I, I kind of feel like the engineer should be properly done. You know, uh, so often I come up with these um, kind of interesting characters, but when it comes to art, they usually don't have a big story. So for the engineer, you know, we're going to really lean into that sci-fi element, but like the engineer is interesting. Um, clearly, you know, the engineer has to be a, a, an intelligent character. That's That's to be that can't be understated because let's be fair how how many people do they let get in spacesuits and <laughs> and do that kind of exploration who don't have some level of expertise or or just level of skill right yeah. so this is clearly a character with a lot to them in my opinion you know, they can't just be anyone. They have to be someone who's uh, smart, someone who's well-educated, probably probably had a great deal of education to get into this field. Well, I already said educated, but, you know, uh, their spacesuit is very uh, slim on things, certain things. So the original kind of design uh, looked kind of like a bodysuit. So here you can see the panels are far more separated. So with these far more separated panels, you actually can see that this is not just, you know, not, it's not a bodysuit. This is a spacesuit. You know, this is something that someone wears for uh, an occupation. Uh, is it snug? Yeah, I mean, it kind of has to be. But it's snug with a purpose. It has to be uh, fitted. But we're adding things, we're adding details. So this is already a much higher quality render, and I haven't even done that much. But with details such as, uh, you know, these arm pieces are clearly raised up, much more raised up than was evident last time. You have these fabric folds and jointings in it, which again, uh, much, much more evident now. Um, the individual panels are actually panels now, not just uh, lines on a drawing. So we're, we're getting a lot going on, and I kind of like that I'm getting this opportunity to uh, further dive into a piece of artwork this way. Oftentimes, my art, I won't say like one and done, but there's a lot of pieces I make that I think could be uh, far more refined than they are. And that's one of the things that we're doing today, is we're really refining what could be something unique. All right, 
So <clears throat> I don't have a lot of colors that I'm going to be using in this because I'm going to stick to my original color scheme. But it's going to be a little less, a um, lot less popped. Like the the one that's in the corner, which is the original, like the a lot of it pops out a lot. So now I'm going to just jump over some charcoal here for a minute. I do like this top paneling because I believe that it would be actually a functional piece of some sort of uh, seal uh, for the helmet. Like this has a real purpose. It's not just cool looking. Not just cool looking. So I want to kind of play with that a little bit. Darken it in. Some of these things, obviously, you know, it is, it, it is a science fiction character, so even though I'm saying, you know, there's actual function to this stuff, um, we don't have to worry about what those functions actually are. But there are places where I want to explicitly kind of hit home on this is functional, this is functional... This has a purpose. This isn't just cool. Uh, so yeah, so the neck piece with this panel here, that to me, because I look at the original piece with the big globed space helmet, and even though that's really kind of like fantasy science fiction, uh, it still has some basis in stuff that was actually made. Uh, so that's going to hook on to something. So this whole panel bit here, would be part of where that helmet is supposed to come down and it probably seals on there uh, with connectors fasteners something like that you know what those connectors and fasteners are i'm not sure But they're there. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now the hardest part to do on a render such as this, uh, I want the lips not to be extreme, but I also need them to be very well defined. So that's something I'm going to work on here because the original lips were really messy. They did not come out super good. So just going to take a moment with a combination of graphite and charcoal to try to bring those lips out a little bit more so that they have a little more definition now. Uh, it's still kind of, I guess I'd say cartoony in a way. But not in a bad way. Definitely not. So as I've been kind of digging into my ideas, um, some of those ideas are like, okay, what would be a good story? What would be a good character? Who, who's a character that I actually want to spend some time on? It can be really difficult to make your mind up about certain things. If I was um, the type of artist uh, who did such things, this would be like a character 
that I would like to see in like a graphic novel. I just don't know what it would be about. Haven't a clue. But I look at them and I'm like, oh, I can see this character in some sort of graphic novel. Um, but even without a graphic novel for the character, I can still see this character doing really cool stuff. All right. So I've been adding a lot here. Obviously, I still need to add some more to the face. The face is real simple. So we're gonna just do a couple quick things. First off, these eyebrows, gonna give them a little more. So there's kind of an expression going there. So one main, one eyebrow is just a little, little slightly raised, little slightly raised. I'm not going to do too much in the ways of kind of making these eyes really like overly detailed. I just need them to be eyes. You know, it's not, it's, that is not the biggest concern for me here. Not my best eyes. I'm going to say that now. I'm just looking. I'm like, eh, that's not my best eye. Sometimes I do really good eyes. Sometimes I don't. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You can see, you can tell her face is right there. You can see one eyebrow is kind of raised up. She's got kind of this pose going. What is that? Oh, I can tell now. I swear, I think that's actually, like, it looks like the shadow of one of the cats is somehow being cast down on here. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. All right, so I'm going to take some of the sky blue. There's certain aspects of the original uh, uniform that were blue. So I actually want to put some of that in here. So I'm going to use some of the sky blue. We're not going to put a lot of it in. I actually have a few different blues here, and I am going to use them. But I'm just going to take some of this sky blue, and I'm going to start to layer this in here. Because this whole part of the uniform, like the chest piece, was blue. Um, and the, the pants were slightly blue. So we're going to keep those. We're going to keep those aspects. Now one of the cool things is because I've already laid down some very basic shading. As I start to layer up these colors... Uh, we're going to end up getting kind of tone variation already from the various levels of shading here. I am going to take, uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do some blending really quick. Using my, uh, my old Q-tip method. I like the way Q-tips blend, so that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so now that I have that kind of sky blue down in a couple of spots, it really is already bringing a lot of pop here. A lot of pop. It looks really cool. Um, I have a couple other spots that I'm going to add color to, but one of the next things I'm actually going to be doing 
I'm going to take this much darker blue. I'm going to start to work that into some recess areas. where there might be less light hitting the uniform. And that's going to really, again, it's going to make a big difference. Uh, so you can see kind of we're getting these shadows um, <clears throat> in certain spots. I'm going to do the same thing down on the bottom in some areas. Now the reason I'm using um, this dark blue instead of just doing everything with uh, my, my pencils and my, my charcoal is I want there to be proper tone variation. So that's what we're building up here is proper tone variations. And I have a third blue. <laughs> I have a third blue because, you know, there's... We're flat right now. We're flat. So this is just giving less flat, and it's also create, starting to create um, some texture because of the way I'm doing this. So it makes the garment look more like material because I'm kind of going in multiple directions when I add that on. Now because I'm doing that, you start to get this natural kind of cross hatching, um, which makes it look like there is a material, some sort of physical thing here. We don't just have flat color. Now I have two different yellows here. So I have a canary yellow and I have a kind of a sun yellow. And we're going to use that for a couple other spots in the uniform to add color. Now one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to be putting color on this upper panel. In the original drawing there was color on this upper panel. I don't like it in hindsight. Uh, it looked it doesn't look good to me, so I'm not going to be putting that back in. But what I am going to be doing is because certain aspects of this I think should be nice and kind of poppy, is I'm going to put yellow into, like down in here, so like these panels, because I like the way this looks. And you can see I'm not like, this isn't heavy. I'm taking this sun yellow, just getting some of that in here. So now we have that little bit of color in the uniform there. And I am going to keep the arms that way. Uh, I can think of reasons why maybe this would actually be done. Like in um, some... Like there could be some real purpose to this in a uniform. I just don't know what, but maybe it's because, uh, I don't know. Maybe the arms are actually somehow protective. Maybe it's just colors of, of the group that the, and now I'm actually going to take my other yellow here and I'm going to do this fun thing. So I'm only going to be hitting kind of part of this and you're going to see like this makes a really distinct kind of rim and this isn't necessarily and I'm not going to do it the whole thing this isn't necessarily lighting so much as you're getting like variation of reflection of light, <clears throat> variation of like how much of the material is exposed. So the back one, which is behind the body, is much darker. Uh, and then this one over here, much lighter. 
I kind of, I really like that. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this over here. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then I'm going to smudge it. Smudge, smudge. Because I do like the fact that there's two tone arms in the original. And I want to keep that. You know, it already it it already adds some pop. It adds some pop. Uh, there's going to be some spots that I'm going to darken in. Uh, so on the original uniform, these hip uh, pieces, these hip plates are super dark, and we are going to be doing that. Um, it's going to happen. It's going to look cool. I do need to go ahead, come back in here, because there's some spots that I'm going to need to uh, darken in more on this. So just first things first, a little of that. And when I do that, I'm actually going to come back in here and start to spread some shadow down. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, when it comes to really trying to make something not just three-dimensional, but feel a certain way, it can be hard to know, like, how to do that. It can be really hard to figure out certain things. Um, oh, thank you. That's, that's awesome. I'm glad that it's relaxing to watch. You know, I want these to be enjoyable. And I want them... To feel fun. All right, so I need to do something in here. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just trying to build up more division in obvious spots where there would be division. I'm doing that with a very heavy charcoal line. But now that I've done that, I'm going to use the same charcoal. I'm going to start to put down some of what's going to be the darkness of this hip plate. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get this pointed smudger blender. I'm gonna use that to start to blend out and smooth out some of this darkness. Now I'm using this one because it's got a really nice point on it, so it's not going to go too far off where I want it to be. Um, but it also allows me to do stuff like this where I can kind of get into like this finger joint area and I can kind of add some natural shadow in. So <clears throat> still a little flat at the moment, but that is just part of kind of the build up. And, and that's one of the things we're gonna be doing is building up. So I'm gonna grab some more charcoal here. Grab some more charcoal, you know, and I'm just gonna be doing some kind of slow layering uh, as I do this. It gives me a lot of opportunities now for this, I'm actually going to, first I'm going to start with the Q-tip, 
because of, again, the way it blends, the way it smooths. You know, and and there's going to be stages um, where this is going to it's, it's going to look a little odd, and then there's going to be stages where you're just like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But I need to begin um, adding that depth, adding that richness to the materials. Another thing I need to do here. Continue to work this up layer by layer. Now I'm going to have to go to a softer charcoal soon. I just don't want to do it too soon. And it's getting us closer and closer to what's going to be our final character. Now that I've done that, I'm actually going to be doing just a little bit of light blending to kind of add some gray in there. I'm going to need this 2B here. Now this 2B is a softer charcoal, but it's not too soft. But it still has a lot of what I'm looking for right now. Granted, I, I don't have, like, a whole story yet to go with the engineer, but I like the fact that we're going to begin to really get to know her, and I like the fact that I can go through these stages of design, you know, as, as I think, like about the important aspects of what will be her character. Um, s some, some of my instincts are to be like, well, clearly she's really fun, you know? Look at how bright her uniform is, but who says that means she's fun? Maybe it's just literally how the uniform is. She has no input in that whatsoever. Um, so I want to stick to the more empirical things, which make sense. You know, so let's think about some empirical things that make sense for someone who would be like the engineer. So one of the first things that Im makes sense, you know, again, going back, is that she's a well-educated and... Um, very important type of person. Uh, but what else? What else would we know about her? Uh, what else would be important for someone of her position? Um, you know, with the spacesuit and everything and the sci-fi elements to it, part of me is like, maybe she's on a starship. And if she's on a starship, well, what is her job on the? What is her specific job? And I'll, I'll I'll say that too. What is her specific job on that starship? I just decided I kind of want a little half moon thing down here. 
I didn't like the way that kind of terminated. So here we go now with the half moon. And then it has a corresponding little bump underneath. Because I like the way that looks. To me, that's visually appealing. And granted, I've taken a lot of the superfluous stuff out of this from the original version. But what I haven't done is I haven't really taken the time to... Like really, really dig in. Uh, add some shadow back here. So this is just really um, a fun way to go about art. You know, I took the time to kind of make a character. Now I'm taking the time to go back and explore the character. There was just too much on that too much. There we go. That's going to make that better. And we're going to add some more lines in. So feel free to uh, give me any ideas you might have because <clears throat> as I build this character out, not just here, but in potentially future projects, I'm going to need to establish some things and that really adds to the joy of making this. I get to I get to consider her motivations. Um, I get to consider where I might go next um, in regards to the character. I get to begin to contemplate, like, what's the project? Um, what are the important things about the engineer? What are things that are intrinsic to her? Oh, and um, so one of the reasons that I've also done this with the hair, I'm trying to make it look like she has kind of um, a ponytail back there, even though she has these long side pieces. You know, maybe her hair is partially fallen down. Uh, maybe this is a little bit more of a after hours. I mean, she doesn't have her helmet on, so, you know, it's not like she's in space here. But I kind of tried to make it look like she has her hair back in some sort of ponytail with some hair falling down the sides, uh, which is, is really only acceptable in part of the day when you are someone with a job that puts you in space. Um, but I, so this is more of a casual, casual engineer, And I kind of just liked uh, I just liked the posing, all of this. like the idea that she's just sitting here in her after hours doing who knows what.
See? That's a really interesting question to put out there. With this kind of occupation, what do you think she does in her spare time? Um, I'm going to presume, and I'm making these things up as I go. I'm going to presume that uh, most likely she, because she does have like a uniform, she does have um, a highly sophisticated job, a uh, high level of education. I'm going to presume she's in some sort of um, specialized uh unit and potentially um not necessarily I, I would presume that she might have a job which is tangentially related to some manner of military i think uh, that's my opinion because again i'm just kind of working off the concepts that i've come up with here and pulling it out but if if i was to imagine like who are they gonna who are they going to put in a position like this? Um, part of my mind is like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. She's probably a member of some sort of uh, division within the armed forces or some sort of armed forces. Obviously not a, an earthly one because that's, or at least not a, a current history. Yeah, we'll say that. Obviously this is not some sort of current history, this is sometime in the future. But even with that said, you know, it just makes sense in my mind. It makes sense to me. All right, I'm added some little uh, specific lines there to pick out some more details. And I'm gonna grab my smudge here. And I'm going to add some shadows in on her face really lightly as best as I can. Certain spots are just going to be in shadow. I mean, that's a granted. So I still have a lot to figure out, obviously. Um, I still have a lot that I can play with as far as characterization goes. Those are some nice shadows. This is definitely a much better render than the original one already. Oop, and I broke that pencil, but it happens. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. I wanna get some of my dark blue in here because there's some spots I now wanna hit with some more of this dark blue. Again, shadow. Um, and what I would consider, not actually not even shadow anymore, it's just uh, tone variation in the uniform. I'm going to use a little finger blending there. And, and these little bits of extra color, again, it's just, it's improving the overall final uh, look. That's what it is.
And I really think this is already giving it a lot more pop. Definitely want to thank everyone who's been here for Art Night. Everyone who continues to come back for Art Night. Yeah, this is really looking cool. I think that looks good. As far as comparing the original drawing to this one, uh, hands down, you know, enormous improvements have been made. I still have some stuff that I definitely want to do, which I'm just going to kind of start to fill some of these areas in really quick. Um, I don't think that, you know, going complete flat black is the right choice for these hip pieces, but showing that maybe there's some variation in them will make a better final image. And also making sure that they're properly affected by lighting and position. All right. Little spread out of that. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, as far as tone variation goes, I think this has some really good tone variation now. As far as capturing a uh, capturing an aesthetic, which I think is both um, unified but also visually interesting, I think we did pretty well here. Just a little adjustment there, so. <clears throat> Here we have the second rendering of the engineer. Um, for fast drawing, I think this is pretty good. You know, this is where we've gotten in about uh, hour 19 minutes. <laughs> so that I'm going to call pretty good. We're going to call it an hour, though, because, you know, there is time to talk and share things. So we're going to call it an hour. I am going to share once more... Uh, in the chat where you can visit my website um, and, and why would you want to visit my website that is an excellent question let me expand on that idea uh, if you visit my website one of the things that you're going to find is you're going to find uh, my original art prints my original art pieces like acrylic paintings um, charcoal drawings uh, prints of various works I've done. You're also going to find really cool stuff like I have sweatshirts and t-shirts and there's actually leggings <laughs> and there's uh, a tote bag, a brush bag, a pencil bag, and a sketchbook. Now I cannot tell you how proud I am of having a sketchbook. I am pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud that that is something that I, you know, I have the ability to say, you know what, if you want a nice sketchbook, I have a decent one. <laughs> I have a decent one, and it would be awesome if you got one. Uh, and it would be even more awesome if if you got some of my some of my merch or even some of my art, if you posted that up somewhere after you got it. You know, once once you got it, post it up somewhere. I would love to see people with 
my work um, and showing that off that would be unbelievably cool to me so should you get a piece uh, no matter what it is definitely take a picture with it post that up on social media um, and then tag me because I want to see you enjoying whatever you got I want to see you uh, rocking some fun merch and generally looking cool while you do so All right. That'll be all the drawing I'm doing on this today. Oh, uh, actually, no, no. I spoke too soon because I just saw something. I'm like, I got to do that. I got to do it. There we go. All right. So that'll be what I'm doing for today. This has been uh, your Saturday night. And this is drawing with your Saturday night. Every time you come here, uh, we're going to share in some art time, whether it is painting, whether it is uh, abstract or portraiture, whether it's drawing, or whether it's further exploration and building of this character, the engineer, who I really think I can do some interesting things with, some really fun things. Um, I think we're going to be able to expand and build lore here, and if if you've never been involved in building lore for a character uh come on by we're gonna be doing that here so this is costume number two or uniform number two uh drawing number two of the engineer the engineer is gonna need uh things like a name a little more information on their background um they're going to need uh maybe uh even a specific year they exist in or uh, some sort of fantasy uh, timeline or universe. So there's still a lot to be done. There's so much to be done. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it all. I'm actually just adding in some extra shadowy parts here because I, I'm just looking at them like, oh, that, that really should be shadowier. All right, there we go. That's a better, that's a better level of detail but not until I do this. There we go. That's a better level of detail. There we go. Small improvements make everything better. Everything. Kind of silly Billy would I be if I didn't Make sure that we had the best possible details. All right, there we go. Now we're done. <laughs> a couple more little, a couple more little lines. It, every line counts. So this drawing's been a whole lot of fun. Uh, doing these kind of speed drawings has been a really fun experience. I know I've only done a couple. For live streams but maybe we're going to do more if you would like to see further exploration and maybe even further adaptation of this character uh, make sure to say so no matter what platform you're on if you're on youtube or um, linkedin or or twitch or twitter or wherever uh, make sure if you want to see more of this character uh, say so uh, share it spread it and uh, subscribe or follow wherever you are. It would mean the world to me. Uh, you don't have to, but please do. Please do. Uh, it's free. Little ding ding on a bell. And every, everyone's a little bit happier. So thank you so much uh, for that. Yes, I think this is a pretty great piece, and I enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Be excellent, stay awesome, and I will see you again next time. But until then, <laughs> take care. <laughs>